Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Serene if you're new and today I will be testing out a bunch of new makeup products that I've gotten in the last few weeks, maybe a couple months. I'm a little behind on testing new makeup products so I thought what better way than to kind of play with makeup on camera with you guys. Before we get started don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and if you enjoy this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up when you're done. So my face is prepped. I've been testing out the Drunk Elephant skincare collection and I so far have been enjoying it. I've played with Drunk Elephant skincare on and off for a while now, but I'm going to be fully only using Drunk Elephant skincare routine for a good three to four weeks, and I'm gonna do a detailed review on that. I am using natural light. If the light shifts, that's what's going on, but I think natural light's the best when you wanna see products for the first time. I have this little Cover FX trio I got last night at their event. There's a Cover FX illuminating primer in this little trio. I love these little minis because it's a good way for you to test out the product before committing to a full size. And honestly, there's a lot of product in these little minis. I like that, it definitely brightened up my complexion a bit and provides a nice little base for my foundation. So I haven't tried this in a very long time, probably maybe a couple years now. This is the Cover FX Natural Finish Foundation in the shade N30. I do have a first impression foundation review on my channel from like two, three years ago. It's been a while, my skin's definitely changed quite a bit. I remember a few years ago I was pretty combination oily and now I'm combination dry. I am very interested in seeing how I feel about this foundation now. They are relatively clean, they don't have any mineral oils and they do a bit void talc, which I appreciate. So if that's something that you are concerned about, definitely check that out. And I believe they use 60% pigment in their foundations so that a little goes a long way. This is definitely a creamy, traditional, creamy foundation texture and formula, but quite lightweight and decent coverage for the amount I want to use. If you've been watching my channel for a while, you know that I prefer less is more when it comes to my base. I just don't like my face to look fully covered. I think it looks more flattering in real life and I'm okay with showing a little bit of freckling and flaws on my face. I just feel more myself. So you're not gonna usually, you won't typically find caked on foundation on me or even full coverage on me. But this is definitely buildable because of the pigment. It's not the easiest to blend because it is quite creamy, I feel like. and I have drier skin. So maybe prep with more of a hydrating primer instead of anything else. I'm just gonna use my fingers to kind of warm up the product and make sure it's blended. Cause I feel like that brush was kind of dragging the product. I recently repurchased the NARS Radiant Creamy in the shade Light 3 Honey because it has a little bit more of a pinky tone to help with any of the discoloration. And it's also good because I have this concealer from 100% Pure in the shade Creme and it's a little bit light on me but I like that it is pretty natural and clean and organic. NARS is not and they're not even cruelty free anymore but I thought if I mix the two, it'll be a good under eye concealer. So I'm just gonna dot this. And then take the 100% pure. And kinda go over it like that. My handy dandy Sephora concealer brush. This has been my go-to concealer brush for years. I think that worked out pretty good. I also bring concealer up onto my lid because I don't use eyeshadow primer and this kind of gets rid of any of the darkness and uh, veins. And then I'll powder that before applying eyeshadow. 
And that works just as well for me. This is from Givenchy or Givenchy and it is the Prism Libri. I apologize for my awful French. And it is the matte finish and enhanced radiance loose powder. So let's try this. I am going out today, so I hope my makeup looks somewhat decent. So I just put a little bit on the cap of all of the shades. I'm going to set my under eyes. I also like to put a little powder on my brows. If I'm using a brow powder, this really helps create a nice base for my brow products. I quite like that powder. I'm actually going to set the rest of my face just a tiny little bit here on the lid. I'm going to actually dab my brush into that and then swirl it in the lid. And I like to pat my powder on so that I'm not dragging product. That foundation did pretty well. I don't feel like I need too much concealer anywhere else. Next up, I have this Botanical Farm Brow Pencil. The sun just does not want to cooperate today. It's fine, you get to see my makeup in all sorts of different sunlight. So this is the Botanical Farm Easy Drying Auto Eye Brow. And I have the darker shade. I believe there's two shades and I got the darker one. I'm going to comb through my brows with the spoolie. I do like this shape. I'm not quite happy with the color. I think it looks a little odd up here and it's almost like a, in real life, you it almost looks a little off. So I'm gonna go in with my It Cosmetics Brow Power Powder to kind of fill in the gaps. Not really crazy about this. I like this shape, I'm just not crazy about the color. Really not good for me going to use this Make Sculpting Lash and Brow Gel to set it though and just kind of live with my brows. So Make Beauty is new to me. This is the first thing I'm putting on my face from Make. I think this is cool. It's just a clear mascara essentially to use on your brows. I have a new eyeshadow palette from Urban Decay. This is for their holiday and Look how gorgeous this is. So many shimmers. I'm gonna play with this, and I'm also going to play with this new baby from Smashbox. It's not new to Smashbox, it's new to me though. Where is this? And it's the Shape Matters palette. So you've got like contouring, eyeshadows, it's a really beautiful palette, and there's a brush in here too. So I think this is like really fun with a giant mirror. So to start off, I always like to have like a nice beige or white base. I'm gonna use this. I know it's for contouring, but I think it'll be really pretty on my eyes. Using my Real Techniques brush. Just want a slight definition on the crease and I'm gonna use this Probably just use this like contour shade right here. My neighbor's cat is meowing outside. It is the most adorable cat. It like sits out there and meows to like be let back in. I'm gonna go in with a flat eyeshadow brush. This is the Marc Jacobs the shadow brush and I am going to do there's so many pretty colors I think I'm gonna go in with after party which is this beautiful maroon shade it's really shimmery and then I'm also gonna use demo to give it some dimension
I'm also going to just use my fingers and the shade Maiden on the center to add a little bit of depth. And pop. I do feel like these are applied better with your fingers just because of how metallic they are, but you can definitely work with it with a flat brush. And if you want to, you can use MAC Fix Plus to get a little bit more of that like stick. But I wanted to use the eyeshadows without any help from another product because I think that is the true test of how a metallic shadow works. Using the beige shade for my brow bone to blend out that line. I also want to deepen up the outer corner a bit, so I'm going to use this black right here. I always use a champagne -y rose gold liner on my lower lash line. This one's my go-to. It's from Ilia. It's called And She Was. I feel like there's a little bit of fallout of the burgundy shadow, so I don't really need anything on my lower lash line necessarily. I have an eyeliner from Botanic Farm, Smooth Touch Gel Pencil Liner I'm gonna use to tight line my lashes. And this is in the shade Brown. I don't know if you can see the difference. It's a very slight difference by tight lining, which is just underneath the lash line. And using a mechanical pencil that's really creamy is the easiest because you just kind of close your eyes and go through. So this eyeliner is super long lasting. I've tried it on my hand and it just does not come off. So I thought it was really kind of cool and we'll see how it wears on my eyes. It's pretty creamy, pretty easy to tight line with and I'll also try it without so much eye makeup so I can see how it really looks. But for today, I'm gonna use a slight wing. This is not new to me, but my go-to liner has been the IT Superhero Liner for soft wings. Curling my lashes and testing out a new mascara today. This is from Essence Lash Princess. I bought this during my best sellers on Amazon video and I'm very excited to test this out. It's supposed to give you a false lash effect. The wand is pretty skinny. It tapers and it's a traditional spoolie which are my favorite. I recently did a blog post over on my blog talking about what I look for in the best mascara and reviewing five of my empties. That's a new series over on my blog where I share with you five new empties a week and my final thoughts on those products and whether or not I'd repurchase. It's quite impressive. It's a pretty good mascara. I definitely recommend this mascara, especially since it's really affordable. I think it's like, it's under $5, and if you have Amazon Prime, you can ship it for free. Or not really, you already pay for it up front. I have a botanical, I keep wanting to say botanical, it's Botanic Farm. Magic Aura Highlight and Shading. So we're just going to use the bronzer side because I have some highlights I want to use. So I'm going to go like that. Clinging a little bit to my dry areas. Bronzer's pretty nice. I like the shade. It matches me nicely. What I like to do though, just to blend everything a bit, is I'm going to take my 100% pure powder foundation and blend this area. I have this fake powder blush in Bisque. I thought this was a really pretty color. And once again, I just take this buffing brush and blend. Yeah, and this is a new highlight palette from Cover FX. It'll be called the Perfect Highlighting Palette, available at Ulta. It's an Ulta exclusive with Cover FX. 
absolutely beautiful. It's like a powder version of their um, liquid ones, which came out last year, I think, like this. And when you layer this with this, you will glow, glow. Or you can use this and mix it with your foundations, you can mix it with your moisturizers, all that stuff. I think I'm gonna use the peachy highlight right here. I'm gonna go in with this really champagne-y pink on the inner corner. Going back in this little trio I started with, this is the Illuminating Setting Spray. So I'm gonna spray this. I'm a little nervous because I do get oily like on my T-zone, so I'm gonna maybe avoid my nose. like in the camera but it looks really good on me in real life except for the splotch let me try and fix that I would say the little sprayer isn't the best it's leaving a couple splotches probably because of the fact that it's a travel size here is a rose water my friend Heather my voice teacher gave me yesterday this is flora topia rose water mist she came over to shoot some photos for her book and she's been obsessed with this handmade all natural organic brand so that just like takes down some of that powdery look because I used some powders and I have dry skin so for my lips I am going to line my lips with the Jouer Sable lip liner it's one of my faves Oh, the poor cat's still outside. Then there's this Make Lip Gloss in the shade... I don't know. FE25604. It was on the box, but I threw the box away. Ooh, it's minty. I don't know if I want to wear this. Hmm. I'll just put it on. I feel like glosses make my lips look really big because I have a really big bottom lip. So that's my finished look playing with all the new products. I hope you like it. I hope you enjoyed seeing how some of the products performed and applied. Obviously, I will keep playing with these products. If you want to see the series about empties, make sure you check out my blog. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. If anything, I hope my video helped motivate and inspire you to look and feel your best from the outside in. I know when I look and feel my best, I'm a lot more capable at dealing with whatever life has to throw at me. If that speaks to you, I'm really happy you found this channel and me. And at the end of the day, I just hope my video helped you unwind, de-stress, and take your mind off of whatever it was you might have needed help taking your mind off of. Until next time, I upload new videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday at 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. I'll see you guys right back here. And don't forget, for December, I will be announcing a huge series and giveaway series on this channel and my blog. So if you haven't signed up for my newsletter, make sure you sign up over on the blog, serumu.com. I will give you guys first dibs and there will be a hint, 12 days of amazing giveaways with brands that I love. So make sure you check back, make sure you're subscribed and make sure you're signed up for the newsletter. So I'll see you guys next time. Have a wonderful rest of your night. Bye.